Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We'll get started in just a moment. Good morning. Everyone had a good night's rest and ready for a nice day, a sunny day, relaxing day. <laughs> like, looks like my connection's being a little. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Hopefully, that doesn't continue. If you're with me for a uh, meditation yesterday morning, I apologize if things kind of ended abruptly, my, my connection failed and Instagram just kind of shut down on me. <laughs> so again, if you're with me yesterday for meditation, I'm sorry about that. That was just kind of a crazy thing. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. So thank you all for being here with me this morning. Um, my name is Jojo Jackson and I am a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher here in Nashville. I'm also an Ayurvedic counselor. Just to let you know, this is my little buddy Casey. He may or may not try to show up and get my attention. So if you happen to hear him maybe bark or start breathing heavy, it's just, he's just a little fluffy little dog. <laughs> so um, if you haven't already, go ahead and find a comfortable seat. You can sit on the floor, you can sit um, if you're sitting on the floor, you can sit, hey, good morning, Sarah, good to see you. Um, if you, um, so yeah, you can sit on the floor. You can sit, if you're sitting on the floor, you can grab a meditation cushion if you have that available. You can grab a, a bolster or even just like a, a pillow. Mm, that's light, it's just shining right in the, in the middle of my face, but that's okay. <laughs> you can also grab like a pillow, like a throw pillow from your couch, and that'll be a really great uh, surface to sit on as well. In addition, you can also just sit on your couch, your sofa, in a comfortable chair, wherever makes you feel like you can start to land and ground and relax. So take a moment and find that seat. You can shift around a little bit, side to side, forward and backward. You start to feel the sit bones and the tail bones grounding down into your mat. <sighs> And as you start to feel the tailbone and the sit bones ground down into your mat, just take a moment and start to make some circles with the torso. You're just gonna roll out the torso. Make them some big Sufi circles. And then switching directions, rolling it out the other way. And coming back into stillness, returning to center. Just make some circles with the shoulders. Either direction to start is fine. I like to squeeze my shoulder blades together a little bit when I pull them back. Just kind of exaggerate the movement, but do whatever feels best for you. Good morning, Nita. Thanks for joining. And then switching direction. Roll the shoulders the other way. And then we'll release those circles. Let's make some figure eight circles. Just infinity loops, figure eights, feel the fluidity of the spine. Just feel the shoulder blades gliding along the back of the rib cage. And then switch directions, roll it out the other way. Loosen up the spine, wake up the body a little bit, invigorating the body. 
shaking off those sleepy time cobwebs. Good. Releasing that, let's pump the shoulders. <laughs> and then let it go. Good. Take a moment and just check in, notice how that feels. Now we're just gonna stretch out the jaw a little bit, stretch out the mouth and the upper neck, the face. So it's just gonna, we're gonna open and close the mouth really big as though we were taking a big bite of a sandwich or yawning. So just opening and closing the mouth really big. Good. And then letting that go, let the jaw be soft. Just noticing, checking in with how that feels. Now keeping that nice soft sensation in the jaw, the looseness in the mouth, the softness of the lips, let's tense up our neck muscles. You might feel the neck muscles kind of quivering, vibrating, and that's okay. Keeping those tense neck muscles and a soft jaw, start to make clockwise circles with your neck. Leading the movement with the chin, and just maintaining those tensed neck muscles and keeping a soft jaw. Good. Next time your chin is to chest, switch directions of the circles. You're now making counterclockwise circles with those tense neck muscles. And the circles don't have to be really big, especially since the muscles are tense. Just feel the stretching in the front of the throat in the right and left side neck. Next time the chin is to chest, leave it there. And then relax, soften the neck muscles, let it all go. And now with those soft, relaxed neck muscles, we'll do the same thing. Clockwise circles, again, leading the circles with your chin. This time, being mindful not to let the head hang back too heavy. Feel the opening in the throat. Trying to open up the Shuddhi Chakra, the seat of our truth, our ability to speak our truth, to be honest. Next time your chin is to chest, switch directions. Now making those counterclockwise circles with a relaxed neck. Next time your chin is to chest, just let it stay there. Let the head hang heavy. And with an inhale, slowly lift the head. Take a moment and notice. Noticing what has shifted or changed and notice what's constant and changeless. So for our breathing activity, for our breath work, we're gonna continue what we've been exploring all week, which is um, uh, Kapalabhati Pranayama, known as breath as fire in some traditions, but also known as skull shining breath. So if you've ever take, taken a Hot 26 class, it's the very last breathing technique at the very end of class is what we're going to be practicing. But instead of breathing in and out of the mouth, we're going to breathe in and out of the nose. Uh, same technique, so it's going to be focused on the exhalation, so a nice strong pushing out of the exhale with the belly and the diaphragm, and you'll feel it, the inhale just happen automatically. If at any point during the practice it starts to feel unsustainable breathing through the nostrils, you're welcome to open the mouth and start breathing in and out of the mouth instead. As you breathe through the nostrils, you might feel some mucus, some stuff kind of loosen up and come out of the nose, and that's totally normal, that's absolutely fine. This breath is a purifying breath for the uh, nasal passage. It helps to stoke the digestive fire, so it's good to wake up the, the, our, our digestion in the morning. And it's also really good for the mind. It helps to stimulate the mind, kind of massage the brain with the pulsing of the exhalation. 
Um, and that's a part of why it's called a skull shining breath. It kind of opens up and shines the light of the mind. So a couple tips as far as um, the practice. If you're new to it, if it's a little difficult, what you can do to help feel the belly moving is you can take one of your hands, just place your hands, you can even put both of your hands on top of your navel. And as you're breathing out, you'll just feel that pulling up and in of the belly button, that really strong push of the exhale. In addition, you can take your index fingers. If it feels like if you're breathing through the nose and it feels like the nose, the nostrils might collapse in, take those fingertips, bring them to the upper corners of your nostrils, right where the bone and the cartilage meet. Over there is called funa marma. There's some marma points there. They help to stimulate our respiration. So you just gently press down and then maybe slightly spread up and out with those sinus cavities. That's gonna open up the sinuses, it's gonna open up the nasal passageway, and it'll help you breathe easier. And also one more word of, um, of just a tip, if you find yourself kind of going like this, if you're breathing, right? You know, you look like you might be headbanging a little bit. I'm um, trying to stabilize the spine and just let a lot of the, the movement just come from the belly so that the spine can stay erect. We'll do 60 seconds total, maintain just a steady rhythm, I'm gonna to start to count down with my hands, five, four, three, two, one, when we're at our last five seconds. So we'll prepare to begin. Let's take a deep inhale, take a deep exhale, release. And now we'll start, big inhale. Big inhale, big exhale, and close the eyes and just observe, noticing the effects of Kapalabhati Pranayam. Letting this eyes remain closed for the duration of the practice. And if the eyes, if it's a hard time keeping the eyes closed, that's okay. Just have a soft, low gaze toward the tip of the nose or to that space between the eyebrows. Listening in to the beautiful sound of the singing bell. Inviting the beautiful sound of the singing bell to guide you home to your true self. Inviting the beautiful sound of the singing bell to guide you home deep within to your highest and truest self. And you're 
awareness. Start to separate from the outside world, creating a little space between you and the world outside. Releasing your five senses and turning all of that energy inward. Connecting to that profound, subtle, inner awareness. Cultivating an attitude of compassion, an attitude of courage, and an attitude of curiosity as we move deeper within to connect to the highest and truest self. And if at any point during our sit, the mind starts to wander or become distracted, that's okay. Just offer yourself compassion, stay courageous and curious, and return to the practice when you're ready. Turning your mind's eye to that dark space behind the eyebrows, that dark, peaceful, still space where nothing exists, yet everything is possible. And in that dark space behind the mind, start to visualize a flame, a single flame no bigger than that of a candle. And as you visualize this flame, start to see its radiant, bright, vibrant glow in that dark space behind the mind. As you visualize that candle flame, visualize its radiant, vibrant glow start to illuminate the mind, illuminating the dark corners of the mind, spreading its vibrant, radiant glow. radiant glow of the fire in the mind, banishing the shadows of fear, of doubt, of uncertainty, bestowing the light of intelligence, of wisdom, of clarity, fire of the mind, the fire of Tejas, glowing bright and radiant, the fire in your mind, illuminating the darkness, shining light, casting out fear, ignorance, casting out doubt, judgment, illuminating intelligence, clear perception, discernment, the fire in the mind, the fire of Tejas, glowing brightly, radiantly, vibrantly in your entire
holding that image of the fire in your mind. Slowly bring the palms together in prayer, letting the thumbs rest at the breastbone, drawing the awareness to the heart, to the seat of the soul. opening your heart and your mind to the sound of this mantra. If you are familiar, then please join along in reciting the Gayatri mantra with me. If not, you can join with Om and just listen. Big inhale for Om. Om. Swaha, Om Maha, Om Janaha, Om Tapaha, Om Satyam, Om Tat Savitor Varanyam, Barko Devasya Dimahi, Dio Yona Rachodayat, Om Shanti, Shanti. Shanti ki Om Tat Sat Slowly invite awareness back into the body. Reconnecting to the outside world, reconnecting to the physical self. Hear the sounds of the world around you. Hear the sounds coming from within you. Invite gentle movement Notice the temperature of the room and the textures on the skin. Slowly blink open the eyes and just take in what you see. And swallow a few times. Notice the watery sensation of the mouth and flavors on the tongue. And deep in the breath. <sighs> Smell the aromas of the world around you. Once again, drawing the palm heart center in prayer. Thank you all for joining me this morning in practice, for sharing your time and your energy and your presence with me, and for giving me the opportunity to share my time, my energy, and my presence with you all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll be back again on Friday and Saturday, and then I'll uh, be back again next week. I like to take off on the Sunday just to just rest and sleep in. <laughs> so I will see you all again tomorrow morning. Have a beautiful and safe rest of your day. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.